Okay, we're going to start up with a circle like usual. And stay tuned after the tutorial for a little surprise I found. Let's see, subliminal message from Season 3 of Avatar. Just going to... I'm going to start with the nose. I decided to make it kind of fat because it, it, like, when I was doing test drawings, his skinny noses did not fit with him at all. And he pretty, he, I wrote, is kind of chunky. His ear. Make this hanging off his head. give him thin lips. I uh, don't like that line too well, so I'm just going to get rid of it for now. But really, Iro is probably my... He's I, he's one of my favorite characters. I would say third. He's only... In my book, he's, he's only beaten by Aang. And, uh, <clears throat> he's only beaten by Aang and um, Toph. I think all three of them are the best characters. And he is, uh, uh, other than Aang, he is pretty much the best firebender in the world. I don't care what nobody says. I mean, he invented lightning. So the only other person that could, the only other person that's really on his level is Toph. Since she invented metal bending. And Hummer. I mean, Blood bending. Wow, that is. If I if I could if I could be a water bender, I would do that. Just control your enemies. Give him a stint. Finish his stint eyes a little bit. I want to give him that mean look, like he's preparing for battle. I didn't want to draw a happy go lucky Iro. It's I think too many people draw their characters all happy. I want to give him a stern look for this video. Extend his face, make it a little bit chunky. And a little highlights for the eyes. So I can remember my light source that's that's why I do it so early see right now he doesn't look that old so I'm going to have to give him some he had to place his wrinkles in the right spot because if you don't it, it won't come out right he'll look kind of like he'll look wrinkly if you put wrinkles on period. It just he'll look very weird. It, I I can't stand it when something doesn't come out right. Game is three. Ch forehead lines. Fix the hair a little bit. Really, th like. I wish for like the movie they had got a fat guy to to play him. I mean, the actor wasn't bad, not at all. I think he kept your eye roll perfectly from the first season. But he just, I mean, come on. What's wrong with having a overweight actor playing a overweight character? I do not like how that line turned out. So I'm just gonna get rid of it, get rid of both of them, and put them a little bit closer. There we go. Now it looks looks better. Take notice of how I go back over my lines, and the second or third time when I go over them, I usually add detail. That is to give me better line quality. I do the same thing when I ink. 
that in if I like to omit a part line or add on to it. I know that it's permanent. Now if it's a little goatee. And the thing was figuring out how to draw his like I don't know what do you call them, these little triangle beard things. So it's it's kinda weird at first. Like they really gave him a unique look. I've never seen this before. If anybody else can point out hair like this in another character, send me a PM. I would like to see I would like to see that. Now for his ear. Really, I hope in like the Legend of Korra, like they mention Iroh, they really should. I mean, you're not gonna have like a, a city like like a metropolis like Republic City and not have like great history books for, for the students. I mean, everyone's gonna know who Toph is, so why not the inventor of lightning? Like seriously, power goes out. Oh no, we have no we have no power. Somebody get a firebender. Do you know lightning? Sure. Turn on my lights. Now to ink. Presses. I'm going to time lapse the video. At this point, I do nothing special, and and on my next video, I'm going to announce some collaborations with some other channels for some contests we're going to do. The first one, I will be giving away $25 and a poster to the winner, and depending on how that goes, will depend on how often I do contests. I've been planning to do giveaways for a while now, but I'm finally able to have the time to uh, plan them and uh, got money in my small budget to do it. You know, as a way to thank you for taking the time to check out my work. It's really appreciated. Alright, here's a little subliminal message from Avatar. This is episode... This episode called Sokka's Master. It is uh, book 3, episode 4. This is Toph, Earthbending, the Nickelode Nickelodeon logo out of that meteorite Sokka made his sword out of. I always thought this was pretty cool and wonder why no one else caught up on it.